Fala povo, bem-vindos. Eu sou o John John, retornando com Shadow of Mordor. in our midst. Well, better look sharp, eh? Captain's coming. Better sharpen the swords, eh? And make sure our boots are nice and shiny. <laughs> oh, so tell me, Captain, have you ever hunted a Graug? A Graug has what you promised me. Aye. Not just any Graug. The largest one I ever came across. We must prepare. I should do just fine. I've been trained very well. My dog, Silver, was trained very well. That was before she got eaten by a warg. It's not about rules, my captain. We're not going to line up and have someone play with our lives. It's about instinct, and it's about guts. Which, as you can see, I know a thing or two about. <laughs> you want basics on the hunt. Follow me. is its own beast, one you must learn to tame. First lesson of Karagor hunting, do not die. What do we need them for? We ride them. A worthy mount for a dangerous hunt. Now, these beasts will not be impressed by your rank. All flesh tastes the same to them. Once you go on the hunt, Captain, you'll come out a changed man. Hopefully for the better, but you never know. When I was hunting wargs, I picked up their ways quickly. But Cargors, well, those bastards are a tougher breed. It took me nearly a year to figure them out. Cargors. Buggers hate water. I once tried to ride one through a river, and she hightailed it up a cliffside with me on its back. Amazing what they'll do to avoid the good cleaning, eh? The hunt is my mistress. Beautiful, thrilling. Infectious. And she doesn't nag like my wife. Oh, you haven't lived until you've been on the hunt, Captain. The very air smells different. Like triumph. Ranger, over here! That one over there looks quite aggressive. Don't even try creeping up on a Karagor. It'll catch your scent a mile away. What do you propose, then? When you hop in and introduce yourself, ask it for a ride. When a Karagor charges, you have two options. Knock the bastard down, or eat dirt. Hold! What now? Climb on his back! Hold tight! There come one with the beast! E a partir de agora a gente vai poder contra-atacar investidas de Keragors para poder dominá-los e montá-los. Muito massa! That's about the same time it took me to tame one. You might be a natural, Captain. 
You didn't fare too bad back there. Where'd you get your training, Captain? I hail from the Black Gate. The Black Gate. Nice place. Sounds depressing. Esse anão Torvin é uma grande aquisição ao longo da história. Porque ele vai liberar alguns upgrades. Even the fiercest beast can be used for good. You've been hunting and learning for long, Dwarf. For years and years. Land used to be more lush. Now a doom slowly sweeps over it. Like much of Mordor. Yes. Though the doom does add a space to the hunt. Swords and axes ready to sweep. Sure you can ride a car. But can you shoot from one? You take him up high. Leave the ground doors to me. Running long on lip? You'll need to think on your feet. When we face the Grog, can't always look to me for help. The hunt is about discipline. Training yourself to see the perfect moment, rather than being told it. I once tracked a grey eagle back to her nest. I decided to let them be. Even before they tossed me to the rocks below. Something wrong with your blade? 
You missed one! Stop him before he gets reinforcements! <laughs> So for an embarrassment to Urukar. Torben is too quiet. Something must be wrong. Go to him, Talion. Perhaps we should track the hunter. You'll make a nice meal, dwarf. Torben needs help. He said he killed the Tark and got a whole barrel of grog to himself. <laughs> What does riding Karagors have to do with killing Grogs? All these questions, Captain. Not you were supposed to follow orders. You are testing my patience, Torben. Pay attention. Learn to respect the beast. You don't need size and strength to fight the mighty Grog. Remember, hunt. Respect the turn. Who knows? He didn't even call you sir. <laughs> This dwarf is far from home. Not all those who wander are lost. Scars. Oh, not at all. I actually have a few of my own. <laughs> oh, I'll bet. What type of battle scars did you get from the Black Gate, eh? Splinters! <laughs> oh, or did you uh, scar your voice telling your soldiers to head into battle? Tread lightly. My scars run very deep. Huh. The mighty Grog. Give me these. And he also took my hunting partner. So, what now? Well, another lesson for you, my captain. <clears throat> Maybe you'll even come out of this one on Scar. <laughs> So, what backward lesson do you have planned this time, eh? Shooting Crabane to prepare us for the mighty Grog? You want to hunt Grog? Then so you shall. But not just any Grog. This is a rare one. It's territorial. Strong enough to claim land as its own. And you and me, we're trespassing. Tell me, Captain, you ever slay a Grog before? Today will be the first of many. Now you're talking like a hunter. I've got a feeling in my gut you may survive this, Captain. Well, since that's the largest part of you, I like those odds. So I assume you have a plan to kill this Grog? I do, Captain. And since you're so good at taking orders, I'll tell you how, step by step. Step one, when he's crunching on an Uruk, sneak up behind the giant beast and bleed the bastard's ankle. Well, why not his throat? 
There is one place Graugs aren't covered in spiky scales. They don't call a weakness a Graugs heel for nothing! You want me to sidle up to this beast? If you can manage it without being crushed, yes! There it goes! What a fine, fine specimen! And it'll meet a fine end. Quite a ride. I need a cargo for speed. Sounds easy enough. Hunter's in need of the 
of Mordor doesn't seem to touch that dwarf. The Seven Rings of Power did not turn the Dwarf Kings to wraiths, as the Nine Rings did to men. They are a stubborn as stone and cannot be dominated by evil. That is why Sauron has sworn to destroy them. I assume you know the path. The real question is, are you ready to travel it? Whatever happens during the hunt, think, what would Torvin do? Actually, that's a good life lesson for you to follow always. I pray your training sticks, or else you'll stick to the wall once the mighty Graug hurls you there. I'm ready to fight the Graug. And that's just what you do. Fight. No art, no finesse. The hunt isn't about swinging and slashing, it's bigger than that! But from your perspective, Dwarf, everything is bigger. Yes, this Graug is very, very big! Oh, oh wait, you're mocking me. Graugs are one of the oldest species of Mordor, and the deadliest by far. It's been a long time since I faced this Graug. Let us hope time wasn't as gentle to him as it was to me. My old partner and I once tracked a Graug from Mount Dolmed to Nogrod. We finally slayed it and got stuck under his leg for two days. Ah, those were fun times. Last time I saw the beast was when my old partner and I tracked it into his dwelling. How did you get out alive? Luck. The Graug knocked me senseless. When I came to, it had ended my partner. Facing that creature alone was a death sentence. I'd been hunting this Graug for almost a decade. That's a lot of years of dedication to one beast. Dedication? Or a sign you preach better than you hunt? Oh, that's funny, Captain. I'll be sure to laugh when the beast eats you alive. The mighty Graug will be my legacy. Dwarves will tell tales of Torvan the Hunter for generations. And I'll have them throw your name in there somewhere. <laughs> Whoa! 
Whoa! The corridors are too quiet. I don't think the Grog is home. <laughs> then we go in and we wait. Ambush. How military. I like it.
Thunder! I think he's dead. <laughs> ah! 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 Well, that's what I call beast hunting, eh? Indeed, indeed. Next time I'm not gonna let you have all the fun. Oh, no, no. This is the last time. I have other prey to pursue. Well, you need help on your journey, so what do you say? We put no, some no, shadows no, no, on... I have to do this on my own. <sighs> if you survive... <clears throat> Come to the Blue Mountains, eh? <laughs> and lots of friends that will drink until their kegs run dry. Well, I've seen how much a dwarf can drink. <laughs> <laughs> I do hope our paths cross again. Right. Now, how do I get you out of here? <laughs> I hope that Torvin finds his way home, now that his hunt is over. If he does, then he will find his home is not as he left it. <laughs> <laughs>